Another day, another project. We are out here just outside of Rockford, Illinois. We're almost two hours away from the city. It's a pretty busy road back here, and that's why we are out here. And we're gonna be putting in a pondless waterfall. This thing is awesome, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We have this awesome patio. This backyard is just absolutely incredible. It's super nice. He has a bunch of pavers lining his entire grass between his beds and everything like that. It's just super well landscaped. Has a few granite boulders everywhere. And it's just super nice and intricate back here. But we're gonna be adding probably a good 15 to 20 foot pondless waterfall today, two feet high. The basin's gonna sit right in this area, all right off the patio. We're gonna tie in this downspout into this basin. That way there's a nice flow of water once the rain comes. And then there's also gonna be an autofill. So this thing's gonna be topped off all the time no matter what the season is. So we're gonna have an overflow somewhere probably over here, dumping down into the grass back down there. There's gonna be nine small aqua blocks sitting in this corner and then there's gonna be a meandering stream coming in here and then just eight feet off this corner of the patio is gonna sit our waterfalls and that's gonna be two feet high and that's gonna be super quick and a lot of sound. So that way it drowns out the sound from the street back there. Unfortunately, Robert was telling me that all those pine trees back there have to be taken out. So it's gonna be a couple years before um, the new trees grow in and uh, uh, create a nice barrier so we're gonna come in here make those waterfalls nice and loud and that way it drowns out the sound from that busy road back there so we're gonna be i'll give you guys a quick rundown once we get everything back here and we're gonna get going and set up we're gonna cover our patio like we normally do we're gonna come in with fabric and uh our three mats load some mats up over on the grass that way we have a staging area of all our material back here and then the guys are setting up our table and our water station so that way we can stay nice and hydrated and this is where all our tools sit for all our projects and the good thing is we got only team aqua keep out here today so it's kind of nice that all of us get to work out here today so we have Chris Z, Luis, Udi, and Jack unloading the truck. So we just got our dirt delivered now we have all our material on site we got these bricks and stone slabs are going to be used for our bridge our peekaboo bridge that we're incorporating into our pondless waterfall and this is all the rock that we have to work with so we have a lot of rock to work with we're probably gonna end up bringing some back just a little bit but a majority of this is going to be going to that retaining wall in that back to get us our two feet high we got our super sack of sand and then we have just under a ton of gravel back here so we have some small and some large so we are all set to go and with having all of our material out on the driveway it allows us to stage everything out here but then we also have to get that to the backyard and this is where we use our we like to call it our plywood highway but right now it's our uh, plastic mat highway we brought all our mats with and we have this path going all the way to the back and that way it prevents some matting down on the grass and saves the grass with instead of we have to bring our dingo back here we can get back here with the dingo but majority of it's going to get brought back here with all the ball carts but you can tell that this landscaping back here is just absolutely phenomenal and the grass is greener than green can be it has a nice sprinkler system so that keeps everything nice and watered but we have everything guys are cruising back here but yeah this is where the plow and mats lead to we're gonna get a couple more back in this corner here that way we can stage the rock and not harm the grass as little as possible but the guys are doing a fantastic job on digging out this basin we're using all the dirt from that basin flopping it up here you saw chris do and that way it gives us all the necessary height for our waterfall back here and we also brought in five yards of nice topsoil because from that patio to here is a good probably eight inches or so so we have to bring up all this dirt back here and that's where we're gonna use our retaining wall back here to gain a nice three foot probably final height from the, uh, this grass to the top of that barn is probably gonna be closer to three feet just to give us our two foot high waterfall facing towards the house so stay tuned <laughs> machine <laughs> <laughs> to give you guys a quick rundown on what we are working with on this pondless waterfall. So we have a, don't mind the 15 by 60 piece of fabric. That is not a 15 by 60, it is a 15 by roughly 25 piece of fabric there. And then we have another 15 by 25 piece of liner there. So, and then our aqua blocks. So all this is gonna go on our basin. So it's gonna go fabric, liner, and then another layer of fabric on top to protect our liner from our aqua blocks. We have nine of these small aqua blocks and that is roughly gonna give us just over a hundred gallons worth of water 
water in the basin. That hole which they are digging out right now, sorry if it's a little loud, there is a semi-busy highway back behind us. So as I was saying, so that's for our basin and then we have our two inch by 50 foot roll of two inch pipe that is gonna accept our two to five pump and that's gonna feed our 24 inch spillway sitting over in that corner and that is gonna sit on the top starting our waterfall. And then we have our rock lid to cover that pump vault and then they have the pump vault sitting all the way over here. That's pretty much all we're working with today and then our pretty much 11 tons of stone but we're probably only gonna use probably half that in the waterfall itself or the other half is gonna be used for our big retaining wall back behind here and then our five yards of soil. So as we continue to make progress, I will continue to give you guys updates. is in and that's a big liner so it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of extra liner that way we know for sure that we're gonna have enough liner in this small little pondless waterfall now imagine this pondless waterfall it there's the basin and then you gotta go just right here whoop, to right there and that's where the spillway is gonna go so it looks like that 15 by 40 piece of liner is gonna get cut down probably to a 15 by 20 maybe 25 somewhere around there so it's always nice to have that insurance on liner Good job guys. I'm glad you guys can, uh, you know which way your aqua blocks sit. So we got our fabric, liner, fabric, pump vault, and our aqua blocks. The guys are cruising right along. We're gonna doing a phenomenal job. We're gonna take some of this awesome sand and we're gonna backfill back behind all our aqua blocks with some sand. And then we are gonna be able to set our bridge and then get our, probably our stream started and ready to go with all five of us. So the guys are having a good time and spirits are high. So Luis loves his job. Woody, what do you think? I love my job. Yeah. What about you guys? I love it. I like I'm glad everyone's it's loving their jobs today. It's the best job in the World. Yeah, best job in the world. Isn't that right, Udi? <laughs> It's been a little bit. We are making some really good progress. So we got our steppers in. So we got this super cool flat piece that we're able to tuck right up against the patio. We got a nice peekaboo bridge that you guys have seen us do quite frequently right now. And that allows them to see this water traveling between the bridge and then into our basin. So our, our aqua blocks end right about here, but we threw this bib liner in like we normally do to extend that water and make it look more natural. And then it's gonna dump down in this area here. So all that water, the two to five, is just gonna dump right into that basin. And that allows, it gives us enough area. So if there is any leaves, it kind of backs up or and if it does back up it'll flow back behind this cobble and then all this will be large gravel so that way it'll be like an, a relief valve for the pondless so we got our pump in so let me flip this around and then i can show you so we have our pump in here and then all we got to do is just install our autofill valve i just want to make sure that this is in that i can work with right here but i have my autofill line back behind here and then i'm going to tap into probably this corner here or this corner here that probably make the most sense so i'm probably going to do it there and then that float's going to sit somewhere down in here so that way this basin is always topped off but that'll be all that's in this vault right here is a two to five and the autofill line coming in. Tomorrow I'm gonna bring a stub of some ADS pipe to extend from that downspout into our basin so that way any overflow from the house fills this basin. And that way he doesn't have to use the autofill but in case, just like right now, where we haven't got a lot of rain, that way this basin is always topped off. Now, enough talking about the basin and more onto the waterfalls. We got one waterfall down here and we got there, that rock's not gonna stay there obviously, but that water's gonna come from back behind this rock here, kick pretty far back to the right and then our water waterfalls are going to be in here. So we're going to have one waterfall. This one's probably going to be a good 12 to 14 inches high coming back between these two rocks here. And then we're facing the door and the window and then their viewing area off the patio. The spillway is going to sit here. It's going to dump into this pooling area here and then dog leg back on top of this waterfall into this pooling area. And that waterfall is going to be able to be visible from their bedroom, which is in those windows right there. So this waterfall is going to have a lot of twisting and turning. We're going to try to get this waterfall as close as we can to the patio. I know we're going to have to do a small little, we're going to throw some couple uh, retaining stones in just to keep that dirt nice and high because this water line is almost even with the patio. So stay tuned and we will show you once we get to that point.
the end of day one. We didn't quite finish our waterfalls. We're 95% there. We just have probably a five foot edge to finish up tomorrow and then a little bit of gravel work up there. And then we have to throw our drainage pipe from our downspout into the reservoir. Then we're good to go. It's already filled up. So all we gotta do is give it a quick rinse down and then we'll be good to go. So we have one waterfall here and then we have a nice beach area up here, waterfall, waterfall. And our 24 inch spillway sitting back behind that waterfall up there. I forgot to mention also we have four waterfall lights and then three pathway lights inside this. So we have a waterfall light shining up on that waterfall, that waterfall towards this stream all in here, and then that waterfall down there. So everything's looking amazing. We got all the dirt back here, and then we're just moving all the rock off that grass so that way it doesn't get matted down at all. And then tomorrow we're gonna be back to build our retaining wall back behind the waterfalls. So we'll be back tomorrow, and hopefully, fingers crossed, tomorrow isn't that bad of a day. Hopefully we're not out of here, because I know right now it's already five o'clock and we still have an hour drive back to the shop. So with that being said, we will see you guys tomorrow. guys it is start of day two we we're a couple hours in a day two already and we got some new helpers and we don't have our team anymore we only have jd and myself out here from yesterday matera out of colorado and so why don't you guys tell us a little bit about yourselves yeah we're uh cacs master cacs out of colorado came out to help with uh, some projects here fun surprise back at the office but yeah, got away to today to help out you guys and finish up this uh, pond list yeah i appreciate it so we don't have luis udi or chris today they are out helping chris hans he is starting a two week long project. So that's gonna turn out pretty cool. So we were able to steal some guys out of the aqua gardens to come help us finish up this pond, this waterfall. So what we're doing right now is just scattering in some of these 18 to 24 inch boulders for a retaining wall back behind here, considering, I mean, that right there, that is probably almost chest high from where I'm standing right now. So just to give you guys a perspective on how high we are from grass to the top of that spillway sitting up there. So we have to bring in some retaining stones cause he didn't want to bring dirt all the way into this yard. Cause as we normally like to do, we come out three feet with soil and then slowly taper it out. So, I mean, that berm would have to come all the way out to pretty much where this rock is at just to make it look natural and stuff. And so he did not want to do that. So that's why we we're going with a boulder retaining wall, semi retaining wall. We're just scattering in some boulders to kind of retain some of the soil. So it's looking awesome. JD up there is doing some lights. Let's go see what he has to say. He hasn't really talked a whole lot in this video and I know he's just begging to talk. So Jack, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, just adding some of the landscape lights. We only got, I believe three one watts for the small pondless, but a couple landscapes, lights scattered in throughout just to make this walkway a little bit more comfortable going right over this peekaboo bridge. So it should turn out pretty sweet. Love the way the waterfalls turned out and just gotta crank out that berm and could be out of here. Yeah, all we gotta do is just crank that berm out, which that's what we're focuses on right now. And then that way, once we're done with that, we are gonna split up and I still have to run an overflow because considering how close the basin is to the foundation, he did not want any standing water going against that foundation. And obviously with having a pondless waterfall, it's only it being nine aqua blocks. Once it rains, it's gonna fill up at one point and that water has to go somewhere and we don't want that going against the foundation. So we're gonna throw a two inch line and we're gonna have a discharge out into the grass over there so that way the water line is always at a consistent level in this basin so we got to do that i got to tie in this downspout into this basin here and then tie the lights in and then we'll be out of here so hopefully it'll be a semi of an early day and i know jack's looking forward to that yesterday we got here pretty late and then we had an hour drive back to the shop so hopefully today won't be that bad guys it is tuesday at two o'clock and we are finished with this pond this waterfall let me spin you guys around and show you what we have, have done came in here and as you guys remember this was a blank canvas it was just dirt before we even got here he had a existing edging going all the way around the back side of this and he took that out for us and he had all of the dirt just here so we came in it was pretty much five and a half to six yards of soil that we ended up bringing in plus dirt that we dug out of the reservoir that's sitting down in this area here and all that dirt is sitting up in the berm so let me give you a rundown of what we have here so right here underneath this the fake skimmer lid we have our pondless vault down here and so this holds let me just flip this guy 
guy around. That's our people. Down here we have our two to five pump that comes into a union. So all he has to do in the wintertime is unconnect that and pull his pump out. And then we also added our autofill. So that autofill will always keep this basin topped off. He does not have that hooked up just yet because he's using his hose currently. So this bait, all he has to do is just top that off when he is done and then he will be good to go. As you can see over here, this is our downspout overflow from our downspout. So when it rains, all that water is going to come into here and fill up this basin. And then back behind that rock right there, we have a bulkhead and then that bulkhead is connected to a two inch pipe that snakes all the way down to over back into the grass over there into a dry pit filled with gravel. So that way when this basin overflows, it doesn't go back towards the house. It goes back over there where we can discharge that water away from the house. So that's all set to go. We have nine small aqua blocks in here. So that pretty much concludes the basin. So as we continue on, we have three pathway lights in here. So we have one here, one in that corner, and then one all the way in that by the grass over there. So that's gonna illuminate this entire pathway coming all the way from the yard. We have this peekaboo bridge like you've seen before. So that allows the homeowners to come in here and they can see this running water in between here. And that water is only a couple inches thick. It's super cool lit up and everything like that. We have a one watt light underneath this bridge shining up on that waterfall there. We have another one watt light kind of dancing up on this through the stream and it's gonna shimmer hopefully on that tree up there. Hopefully, that's in theory. If not, then it will be cascading all in this stream area, lining up this and highlighting this of uh, the stream. We have another one watt light back behind this rock here, up lighting this waterfall and then another light in that waterfall shining that area. So this thing is very well lit in, at night and this thing just turned out awesome. I just love how everything turned out. We ended up using nine tons of 18 to 24s, two tons of six to 18s and another half ton of four to six inch cobbles. So as we always do in all our other videos, this is pretty much it. But we're gonna see what the other guys think. So unfortunately we don't have the crew that was out here yesterday, but we have some better people out here. No offense to Team Aquascape members. So what do you guys think so far? With I know you guys weren't able to be out here yesterday to see the start of it, but what do you guys think so far? I think it's looking great. You know, they have great visibility from inside the house. So that's a plus. That sound of water is real nice. Yeah. That's like a, yeah. I mean, I can, I can imagine what it looked like here before. It's definitely an upgrade. Great area to, to sit and enjoy in the morning and in the evening. And it sounds like a, a perfect, like, babbling brook almost. Kind of got that a great sound there. I'm not too high pitched, not too low either. And uh, no, I think it, it turned out great. And I love the footprint. I love how the path leads over it. I love how he concealed the basin. Um, I love how the water kind of gurgles uh, on the top two tiers there as it uh, falls off those weirs. It just turned out to be a, a great, great install. Cool, cool. Well, I appreciate you guys coming in for the week and helping us. I know it's going to be a chaotic week considering it's only Tuesday and you guys are all over the place. <laughs> so we don't know. I know we have to go help Chris later today. So we're in for a real treat this week on where we're going to be at. But I'm looking forward to working with you guys. You guys are have been so far a fun group and I'm looking forward to it. So thanks, guys. Yeah, yep. you too, JD? Yeah, no, as Matt said, it was a pretty blank slate here before. But the noise of it, I really think, does this yard a, a lot. As you guys have been interrupted through throughout the video, you've heard uh, all this traffic going by. So sitting here really drowns out that background noise which uh is exactly what the homeowner was looking for so. and that was when we came out here that was the entire intent of them getting a water feature was to drain out that noise as i mentioned earlier all these trees are getting taken out so it's going to be pretty loud back here once they take that wall down yeah it's unfortunate but yeah they're they enjoy all, all their time out on this patio right here right where matt and jack are sitting right now and so they are going to absolutely enjoy it and they have from all three of these viewing areas from their kitchen their doors the living room and then their bedroom they have a waterfall facing every direction so it looks awesome. I'm really happy how this turned out and this it definitely fits the space in this corner That's enough of me yapping you guys know the drill like comment and subscribe and if you guys have any uh, Questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and we will see you on the next one Hope you guys have a good day and see you guys later mm -hmm.